Once again, you are welcome to Angel Health Academy. Subject, Community Health Nursing, Mnemonic. Topic for the day is Millennium Development Goals, MDGS. Millennium Development Goals. In September 2000, the representatives from 189 countries met at the Millennium Summit in New York to adopt United Nations Millennium Declaration. This is known as Millennium Development Goals. Goals. In September 2000, representatives from 189 countries met at the Millennium Summit in New York to adopt United Nations Millennium Declaration. The Global Commitment to Millennium Development Goals 189 UN member countries, rich and poor alike, reaffirmed their commitment to peace and security, good governance and attention to the most vulnerable with the adoption of the Millennium Declaration. In September 2000, 189 UN member countries, rich and poor alike, reaffirmed their commitment to peace and security, good governance and attention to the most vulnerable countries with the adoption of the Millennium Declaration. The MDGs are 8 goals to be achieved by 2015 that respond to the world's main development challenges. So these are the eight goals to be achieved by 2015 that respond to the world's main development challenges. The MDGs are drawn from the actions and targets contained in the Millennium Declaration that was adopted by 189 nations and that was signed by 147 heads of state and governments. So, there are 8 Millennium Development Goals adopted by United Nations. I have made a mnemonic, peck to chief members and hug. So, peck means, uh, uh, usually for the general conference, there would be one peck before the conference and after the conference, usually there would be a hug by the members. So, peck by the members and a hug by the members. So, you can remember this mnemonic as peck to Chief Members of Millennium Development Goals and HUG. Peg to Chief Members and HUG. There is one change in that. Instead of HUG, H-U-G, actually it is HEG, H-E-G. But there is a synonym that is starting word is PEG, P-E-G. And you can remember that end word is HEG, H-E-G. Only the P and H is changed, that's all. So let us expand the mnemonics. P stands for Poverty Eradication, E stands for Education, that is Universal Primary Education, G stands for Gender Equity and Empowerment, Chief stands for Child Mortality Reduction, Member stands for Maternal Health Improvement, H stands for HIV, Malaria and Communicable Diseases Combat. Instead of U, I said it is not HUG, it is HEG, E, Environmental Sustainability. The last G stands for Global Partnership for Development. Global Partnership for Development. Let us explain in detail Millennium Development Goals. So there are 8 Millennium Development Goals. Goal 1 is Eradicate Extreme Poverty and Hunger. The Goal 2 is Achieve Universal Primary Education. Goal 3 is Promote Gender Equity and Empowerment. Goal 4 is Reduce child mortality rate. Goal 5 is improve maternal health. Goal 6 is combat HIV or AIDS, malaria and other communicable diseases. The seventh goal is ensure environmental sustainability. Eighth goal is develop a global partnership for development. All this goal has to be achieved by 2015. Let us explain in detail each goals. The first goal is eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. The indicators for the eradication of extreme poverty and hunger are reduced by half the proportion of people living on less than a dollar per day. So reduce half the proportion of the people living on less than one dollar per day. Achieve full and productive employment and decent work for all the people including women and young people. So achieve full and productive employment. The third indicator is reduced by half the proportion of people who suffer from hunger. Reduced by half the proportion of people who suffer from hunger. 
the india has also made a indicator for achieving the goal one the first indicator is the poverty headcount ratio is estimated to reach 18.6 percentage by 2015 then the second indicator the malnourished and underweight children's percentage expected to reach 40 percentage by 2015 the malnourished and underweight children's percentage expected to reach 40 percentage by 2015 so these are the two indicators of india to achieve goal one the second goal is achieve universal primary education the indicator ensure that all boys and girls complete a full course of primary schooling ensure that all the boys and girls complete a full course of primary schooling the indicator for india first indicator is gross enrollment rates for both girls and boys crossed the under percentage centrally sponsored schemes that address this million development goals include sarva shiksha abhiyan ssa mid day meal scheme or program then kasturba gandhi baliga vidyalaya kgbv the third goal is promote gender equity and empower women the indicator was Eliminate gender disparity in primary and secondary education, preferably by 2005 and then at all levels by 2015, that is primary, secondary and tertiary level by 2015. To achieve the goal 3, the indicator for India was increase country's gender parity index, that is GPI, for gross enrollment ratio GER in primary, secondary and tertiary education. The second indicator was increase the labor market openness for women in industry and services. Increase the labor market openness for women in industry and services. The fourth millennium development goal is reduce child mortality. The indicator was reduce by two-thirds the mortality rate among under five children. Reduce by two-thirds the mortality rate among children under five by 2015. The indicator for India was under 5 mortality rate is expected to achieve the target that is 42 per 1000 live births by 2015. So under 5 mortality rate is expected to achieve the target that, that is 42 per 1000 live births by 2015. The fifth millennium development goal was improve maternal health. The indicators was reduce the 3 quarters the maternal mortality ratio. Reduce the three quarters of the maternal mortality ratio by 2015. Achieve by 2015 universal access to reproductive health. Achieve by 2015 universal access to reproductive health. To achieve the goal 5, the indicator for India was the target of maternal mortality rate MMR in India by 2015 is 109 per 1 lakh libers. 109 per 1 lakh libers. The second indicator was India is expected to ensure only 62 percentage of births in institutional uh, facilities with the trained personnel by 2015. The sixth millennium development goal was combat HIV, AIDS, malaria and other diseases. The indicators was halt that means reduce halt and begin to reverse the spread of HIV or AIDS. Then achieve by 2010 universal access to treatment for HIV or AIDS for all those who need it. By 2010 achieve universal access to treatment for HIV AIDS for all. Then halt and begin to reverse the incidence of malaria and other major communicable diseases. To achieve the goal 6 indicators for India were reducing the prevalence of HIV or AIDS by greater awareness and increasing the condom use. So, reducing the prevalence of HIV or AIDS by increasing the awareness that is health education and increasing the use of condoms. Then second indicator was decrease malaria both in terms of prevalence and the death rate. The third indicator was halting the prevalence of tuberculosis. Though India account for one fifth of the global incidence, the indicator is halting the prevalence of tuberculosis. The seventh millennium development goal is Ensure environmental sustainability. Ensure environmental sustainability. The indicators was integrate the principles of sustainable development into country policies and programs. Second indicator was reduce by half the proportion of people without sustainable access to safe drinking water and basic sanitation. 
so reduced by half the proportion of people without sustainable access to safe drinking water and basic sanitation. The last indicator was achieve significant improvement in lives of at least 100 million slum dwellers by 2020. To achieve goal 7, the indicators were made by India was ensuring the environmental sustainability. Increase the forest cover of country's total land area. Increase the forest cover. The overall access to increase water sources. Decline the proportion of households without toilet facilities. So decline the or reduce the decrease the proportion of households without toilet facilities. Achieving the Millennium Development Goal target of sustainable access to safe drinking water. That is sustainable access to safe drinking water has to be achieved by 2015. And the last indicator was achieve the target of access to sanitation to 38% by 2015. So achieve the target of access to sanitation to 38% by 2015. The eighth goal was global partnership. The indicators were develop open, rule-based, predictable, non-discriminatory trading and financial system. So develop open, rule-based, predictable, non-discriminatory trading and financial system. Second indicator was address the special needs of the least developed countries. Address the special needs of the least developed countries. Then deal comprehensive with the debt problems of developing countries and make available the benefits of new technologies especially information and communication throughout the world. So make available in the benefits of new technologies especially in the area of information and communication. To achieve the 8th millennium development goal the indicator were made by India was India has emerged as one of the major development partner for fostering techno-economic and intellectual assistance to countries across the world. So fostering techno-economic and intellectual assistance to countries across the world. The IT software services and information technology enabled services ITES sector have managed to catch up the global leaders. So these are the eight millennium development goals. The next session is health related millennium goals in India. Health related millennium development goals in India. So health developed millennium development goals in India. We have the eight goals except the two and the three. The remaining is same except two and three goals. So the goal one was eradicate extreme poverty and hunger. Goal 4 was reduce child mortality rate. Goal 5 is improve maternal health. Goal 6 is combat HIV, AIDS, malaria and other communicable diseases. Goal 7 ensure environmental sustainability. And goal 8 is develop a global partnership for the development. So except the second and the third goal, the remaining 8 goals, that means 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 millennium development goal was health millennium development goal of India. So let us explain once again the health related millennium goals in India. Indian government also fixed the targets for achieving the millennium development goals. That is goal 1 is eradicate extreme poverty. Goal 4 is reduce child mortality rate. Goal 5 is improve maternal health. Goal 6 is combat with HIV, AIDS, malaria and other communicable diseases. Goal 7 ensure environmental sustainability. And goal 8 is develop a global partnership for development. So thanks for watching. Hope this video really benefit in your education. And if you feel it is uh, worth, please like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned with Angel Health Academy till we meet with another and important educational video. Thank you.